Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial because this has been like not really requested but I have just been out for a meal with um, uh, Anissa for her birthday, happy birthday Anissa um, and she said she really liked my makeup and she said she'd love to see it on my channel so I thought why not go for it let's do the makeup while it still looks good so yeah I'm going to show you step by step everything that I'm going to wear and yeah let's get into the video so I'm going to kind of skip like foundation and concealer and stuff because it's not very interesting. I'll just show you like the foundations and concealers that I used. So the foundation I used was the Rimmel Wake Me Up because it's a really good foundation. I've been loving it a lot lately. I actually need to buy a replacement for it. It's really, really amazing. Um, then I just used the Fit Me Concealer. This one again, I've got a backup of it, but it is running out. And then I've also got my powder, which is actually in my bag, which I can't get out at the moment. Um, the Fit Me Powder in 120. It's just a super good, like, powder. I love it so much. It's probably, like, a new favourite powder. And then for moisturiser, I use the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Oil Free Moisturiser. And then for primer, I use the Flawless Original Primer because it's my all-time favourite. So now let's get into the brows. My brows are already sort of filled in anyway, so I'm just going to use my Colour Sport Eyebrow Definer just to kind of get the little spots that may have rubbed off throughout the day. Um, and this is what I did before I went out as well. Um, and this like eyebrow pencil like felt tip it's really good because it's super duper natural looking um, it's like not too much it will literally like make your eyebrows look so good um, it's just really good so for my eyes I'm going to use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion this is the anti-aging one and I'm just gonna put this on my lid and just yeah um don't really need to explain primer but I didn't buy the anti-aging one because I think my eyes look wrinkly but apparently the first sign of wrinkles is your eyes and I'm not looking forward to that even though I'm only young I still want to be prepared <laughs> so the first um eyeshadow I'm gonna use because I'm gonna use the Too Faced uh, semi sweet chocolate bar. I've seen everybody talk about the normal chocolate bar, but I have not seen literally anybody talk about this one. And I absolutely love it because it's a lot more like shades I would wear, whereas the other one's a bit more like pinky, shimmery, whereas this one's got a lot more mattes in it because I prefer my eyeshadows. Um, so I'm gonna use rum. Oh, I'm gonna use rum raisin all over my lid, which is just this colour here, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid this mirror keeps on falling I'm gonna take the Naked Smoky brush this is actually an amazing crease brush and I'm going to take oh, I'm gonna take a uh, truffled which is this colour uh, put in uh, and cocoa chili and I'm just gonna apply those to my crease with the small side um, so I'm just gonna kind of apply it just on my outer V and I'll show you why um, in a second so you just want to apply it kind of dark because we're gonna be blending it out now you only want to apply it on the outer V because when you're blending it out it's gonna blend up and over here and if it's too dark throughout the whole thing it's just gonna mess the whole look up um, so yeah, just apply your eyeshadow. Then what you're going to do is take this out and I'm going to take peanut butter, oh, oof, this keeps on moving, peanut butter and mousse, which is this colour here, and I'm just going to apply those to my crease and blend them out. So I'm just going to blend out those colours with my big fluffy brush I'm just gonna take a little bit more of truffled because it's kind of gone on my lid I'm just gonna kind of blend it in there with it and 
and then I'm just gonna blend out this side um, and see what I mean like if you like applied the dark eyeshadow all across your lid it wouldn't give the same effect like it just looked bad whereas because you've like just applied it on the outer corner it's blended out on the whole lid and it's not as dark as it is well as it was on the outer corner so um, yeah that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow it's super duper basic um, but then I'm gonna take coconut cream and I'm just gonna apply that all on my inner corner just because this eyeshadow like look is quite dark um, so you need like a little bit of light bringing in so you just want to apply it on your inner corner and blend a tiny bit onto your eyeshadow here and then what I'm gonna do is take my MAC vanilla pigment this is my favorite thing in the world um, and I don't know where my little brush is gone I have a little brush oh here it is uh, this is the accent brush and what I'd like to do is just take the vanilla pigment on that and just apply it on my inner corner so just apply it like here because it's like white but it also has like silver and gold shimmers in it so like depends where you are in the light but like it will change color and stuff it's such a pretty color I love it and you just want to apply it there and then just take your finger and just kind of blend it out a bit and that's what it looks like and then just to kind of add like a metallic -y shimmer I'm gonna take this silver pencil from Topshop and uh, this is from we're going home and it's just like a silver I said I'm just gonna put it on my waterline just for kind of like a cool tone look like just add a little bit of depth to the eyes um, and now it's time for eyeliner now eyeliner is super hard to do on camera but I'm gonna try my very hardest I actually just need to find my eyeliner so the eyeliner that I have been using a lot is the Maybelline Master Ink and this is the satin one so it's not completely matte but they do have a matte version of it if you prefer matte eyeliners so let's just try and line our eyes on camera this is probably gonna fail but I'm sorry if it does and I'm trying so hard to concentrate that I might not be able to speak and then what you want to do is kind of go along where you put your outer V and then just connect it all up And there we go, that's the island. I, I am gonna fix it though, do not worry. <laughs> so then I'm going to take my eyelash curler um, and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash, Lash, Lash Sensational because um, I haven't really used it. I've had it, but I didn't really use it very much. I used it like once and I hated it, but I actually used it tonight because I wanted like big full eyelashes and Zoella likes it and she says it makes her eyelashes amazing. Um, so it did make my eyelashes look quite good, but I did already have mascara on so it, they were a bit clumpy, but I don't have any on now so let's see what it does. It's still a bit clumpy, actually no, it's not too bad. Oh, I've got a big blob of mascara there. Ew. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on my bottom lashes. So that's what my eyelashes look like. So that is before and after. It's a pretty good mascara. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna just do the other eye and move on to the cheeks. Now moving on to blush. The blush I used was Stay By Me. It's kind of like a corally, peachy color. And I'm just gonna use this on my cheeks. I absolutely love MAC blushes. Um, uh, I have two. I do need to get some more because they're so amazing. So what I like to do is, rather than doing like the smile and apply it to your apples and cheeks, I like to go and just kind of apply it down here and sweep it up. And 
my cheeks look all blushy. Um, then for bronzer, I'm using the Bourjois Delice de Poudre bronzer, which was my favourite bronzer this year. And I'm going to use my little Duo Fibre face brush. And just kind of pull a pouty face because then your contour show. And then uh, just apply it like all over your like forehead and jawline. Do the three, which is your jawline, your cheekbones, and then your forehead. And then there we go. Then for highlight, using my favourite highlighter because it's absolutely amazing. The lid's actually broken on it, which is frustrating. Um, I don't know what brushes there it is. Uh, gonna use my Makeup Revolution in Peach Lights. The, the lid is broken off, so just ignore that. And then I'm using my Duo Fiber Contour Brush, but I use it for highlight. Uh, and I just like to apply it here and here and just kind of blend it a bit. These last forever, it's literally hardly even made a dent in it. And it'll definitely last a long time because it's pigmented. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit down my nose. And that is all that done. Now it's time to move on to the main portion, which is the lips. Kind of coming a bit closer so you can see. I'm gonna use my little lippy brush, and the red lipstick of choice is the uh, Kate Moss 107. As you can see, I need to get a new one because this one's running out. Um, so I'm just gonna take my little lip brush and just take this because I don't actually own a lip liner that looks like this. I need to get one. So I'm just gonna line it with like my little brush. And then, you keep it, I'm gonna teach you how to do Cupid's bow like really good. So what you wanna do is do a cross, like that. And then, just kind of round out the rest. And just fill it in a bit. And that's how you do a perfect cupid's bow. And then you just want to take the lipstick and just apply it. So that is what the finished makeup look looks like. That is how you do everything in it. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Become a sparkle blue unicorn. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below any more uh, questions, drop me to answer, um, or anything really you want to see me do in this channel. Also, comment down below any tags you want to see me do, videos you want me to react to any foods you want to see me eat or any videos in general any at all um really hope you guys enjoyed this video shout for the day is gonna be nisa um because it's her birthday and i just want to wish her a happy birthday really hope you guys enjoyed this video bye guys next video bye